What's up YouTube, it's Mel here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to upload an application to the App Store and the steps you need to go through to do that. Um, so for this tutorial I'm using my WebView example. First of all you need to go to, go to your iTunes account uh, on iTunes Connect, the link will be in the description, and go to Manage Applications and then click Add New Application and you should get to this screen here. So in the app name, you're going to type the name of your app, obviously, that you want to see on the App Store. So I'm just going to put WebView for now. Um, I'm not going to actually be releasing this, so, uh, you know, because it's a bit of a silly app. Um, but, you know, if make sure you put something in there that relates to your app. So you don't want to call it, you know, Dandy if it's something to do, if it's a game app on shooting or something like that. Um, the SKU number is a number given to every single thing sold, um, and that's basically specific to that thing so you could put your initials so I'm going to put my initials and then you can put I know a load of numbers and then a number at the end relating to your app um, so I'm going to have this app number 56 so I've got my initials some random numbers and 56 and make sure you take note of this number because um, you might be asked it later on so make sure you remember that so the bundle ID is basically what you're going to put in your app um, and I'll explain that in a minute. So if you select your company name that you've already set up and this bundle ID suffix is what's going to be in your app. So if we just pop back and I'll open up my WebView project and I'll show you what I mean. So if you just go into the dot P list here and um, if you go to here where it says bundle identifier, this row here, you see it says dot com, dot your company and then dot product name, blah, blah, blah. Basically, this is your bundle ID. So here where it says .com your company, I'm going to put in here my company name. So I've got Fail Cake. Uh, don't ask me why I chose that name. <laughs> don't know why. And you can just put something on the end of here. So I'm going to put the app name, so Web View. So that is now my bundle identifier. And it will, it will only be allowed to put on the App Store if what you type in on the Web View uh, on here matches what you type in up here. Um, so if I just copy and paste that, just make sure I get it right and paste that in there um, so that's my bundle ID now and make sure it's exactly the same you can click continue carry on and now this is basically your prices and stuff and when you want it to um, the availability date so you can release it into the app store but not let anyone buy it until I don't know December but I I don't really care about this I'm gonna make it sure it's free uh, discount for education institutions blah blah blah, blah. pretty straightforward and basically, guys, you just go through all of this, um, and once you're done, you click OK. You can upload icons and stuff and do all this, put in your description. Um, I'm not going to do that now because that's kind of up to you. Um, so I'll be back in a bit once I'm done. OK, guys, I'm done, and um, I'm back here in the app. And now what we've got to do is we've got to set up our app for distribution so we can actually compile the app for the actual iPhone. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into our sidebar down here and we're going to click on the blue arrow at the top. And uh, that's basically contains all our project and everything like that. So if we make sure you selected that and then click info and it should bring up this little window here. And if we go to configurations tab and go down to release and we select duplicate. So it now says release copy and we change that to distribution distribution yeah like that um, and that basically allows us to rebuild the app but for distribution purposes um, so if we go back here and we change it to 3.2 compatible um, if we go to build here and we make sure you set it to your uh, base SDK the latest one um, and that should be about it you can then go over here to where you normally select where you want to build it Select distribution in active configuration and make sure you select device. And it doesn't matter if a device is connected or not. It will give you an error saying a device isn't connected, but that's okay because you've still got the code compiled. Um, so that's what we need. So we can select build and run and I'll be back when it once it's compiled. Okay, I'm back. And if we go over here to the products and we now have the webview.app in our products. Now if we that's basically the app. That's what that's all your code compiled into one. So if we right click on that and say reveal in Finder, we've got it here in Finder. 
Now, to turn it into the binary to actually upload it, basically all we need to do is right click on it and click compress. Um, and make sure you have no spaces in this compressed file. If you do, just put an, an underscore. But don't worry, it doesn't matter what this is called, your app won't be called what this binary is called. It doesn't matter. So now we've got that done, uh, we need to go and find application loader. But this will be found in, if you go to your hard drive and you go to developer, applications, utilities, you should find it there. Only if you have Xcode 3.2 or later. Otherwise, you will still be able to download it, download it sorry, from the Apple developer site. So once we've opened this, we will select the one we want. So that's the web view. Uh, I haven't done that, but that's just because I'm not actually going to do anything. Then we click choose to choose our binary and we're going to need to find it. Now, it, for me, it's already automatically put me in the folder I need, but if it doesn't, I'm going to show you how to get to it. So if you navigate to your web view or your apps folder, hit mine's on the desktop. So if I go to desktop, find my web view, go into build. And now we want the folder that says distribution iPhone OS. If you double click on that, you can see we've got our zip folder. Double click on that. And uh, if I click send, I will get some errors just because I haven't got an icon on it and that will screw things up. So if you see here, click send, there you go. Unable to verify icon dimensions. Uh, that's just because in, in the Xcode we haven't put an icon on. But make sure you have that there and you should be able to send it off and then Apple will have to review it and then you'll know in a couple of days time. Um, so I hope that helped guys. I um, hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, I know I've got to edit a lot of stuff out of this so sorry if there are some weird edits but most information should be there. Um, so thanks for watching. Any comments please comment below. Uh, links will be in the description um, and I will try and help you out as much as possible. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.